Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to do with this file with your students, or if you are the student, is to go to your setup panel, and you can see it is the very top button here on the left. This is going to take you to this particular screen. And so let me show you some of the features before we move on to any other components. First is that you can set the appointment duration, and I have set it for a 15 minute default is what will pop up, but you can change it to every 5 minutes, every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or for 30 minute time blocks. I feel like 15 minutes was a good split, um, but you can certainly choose your activity. Underneath that, you have your choice to allow for double booking. Um, this is part of what the computer system will decide. Um, do you want to allow for double booking for your um, practitioners? Or is that not a feature? You're just going to choose yes or no. And then we've got our Monday through um, Sunday is our week, because Monday generally starts um, the week, the work week. So I went from a Monday to a Sunday. And you want to set your office start time or you can choose that you see no appointments. You can also choose your office end time, okay? So I have just chosen some random times for various different start times, so we might open at different hours during the course of the week, and I didn't want any weekend appointments, but you can choose certainly, right, to start and end your office work time at any time you choose. So make sure that, you know, you're giving some thought to, do you want your students to put this into application? When you scroll down a little bit here on the left, you will see a schedule display, and there are a couple of check boxes that can be seen. However, if you want to add a feature to what's going to show on your appointment box, all you do in this column is double click, and you will see what pops up, or you double click and that check box disappears, and it will change what is showing up on your schedule um, notes. So if you want to see the notes right in the appointment, you would double click notes. I didn't find that was necessary. I did very simple. Okay, you can then either go back to the schedule, but I'm going to first encourage you to go to this appointments with this little art palette because it's going to take you to this little location. So I have put in a number of default appointments that you can see. I have also included a time length for each of these appointments. I have also included some other and some block time. Now, all of the activities we've created use these time frames, and so this may be adequate for what you're looking for. Um, but let me show you a few extra features. Extra features. One, you can add an appointment type, and so you can simply make your own appointment type and add an appointment length. Now, to add a length that does have to be the default in which Excel recognizes, which is the hours with a colon and the number of minutes. So, 0 colon 15 would add an appointment type, okay, of 15 minutes in length. So, let's say I want to do um, suture removal. Oops, sorry, I've got to be able to type properly. You would simply add that appointment type, it would add to your list. You can also click on an appointment and delete it back out by simply clicking delete the appointment. It will make you do a confirmation and it will delete it back out. If at any time you got here and you just want to go back to that settings, you obviously just click the back to settings, but I want to show you one other potential feature. If you click underneath this column for color settings next to each of the visit types, it will do a pop down box and you will choose what color you want that type of visit to be. Okay, this is just a nice customization. Okay, you don't have to choose this for this program to work, but if you want some nice color visuals, Okay, that is what you're going to do. And to set each of your appointment types to a different color inside of our scheduler. And then we're going to head back to our appointments. Okay, double check that this is great. And we are going to head back to our.